Welcome to my solar addiction. Today's video, EG4 Power Pro, all-weather wall battery, top balance and prep. We're here today in the power room because we've already done our firmware update on the batteries, which actually they didn't need it, but we demonstrated the EG4 battery firmware adapter and how to use it, even though it wasn't necessary. Now we've got our batteries firmware up to date. We've got them out the crates and we're getting them prepared to connect them to my other batteries that are running the house right now. So we need to top balance them. In other words, we're going to uh, charge them up to 100% so that we don't have any current rush when we connect them to our other batteries, which we will charge up to 100% before we connect them all together. And I like to connect them inside the power room before I put them outside. These two are going outside on the patio so that I work out any bugs that I would need to before I drill any holes in the wall to run them outside. So I've made this cable here, used it many times before to work with uh, the Amphenol connectors. On this end, I have lugs with um, just some bolts through it so that I can connect it to my EG4 charge verter. And on these ends, I added some of the Amphenol connectors so that I can connect it to these batteries. And we're gonna use our charge verter, which is right here, the old school charge verter. Uh, school bus yellow, I still love the old charge verter. And we're gonna connect it with the cables from the charge verter. We're gonna bolt them together and then we will charge them up with the charge verter. I could do them one at a time, but I looked at the BMS on these and the battery uh, voltages are already close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna parallel these two together and then charge them both at the same time to save some time. Put our bolt through there to get these two cables together. We don't wanna have any problems, so we're gonna put some tape over it. Pretty good. Let's get our positive. That's good enough for government work. Be safe than sorry. So now our charge verter is hooked up to our cables. And then we just got to parallel the two batteries. These are parallel cables. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to parallel these puppies. Love these Amphenol connectors. You just kind of click them on there. When you hear the click, you're in business. I'm going to have one going here, another one going here. Here's the charge verter cable. I have my charge verter plugged into this 240 plug on its own little breaker. This is it right here charge verter and she's starting up 65 that's good let's get out should be charging let's see what's happening yep she's going up it's already at 56 on here And they're charging up. So let's come back a little bit later. We got to try to get these batteries connected into our bus bar here. I already checked the voltage to make sure that the batteries have totally dissipated their energy. Always be safe. So this is the power supply for my Raspberry Pi for the um, solar assistant. All right, so I need to do the ground because we gotta have our batteries grounded. This is my ground from my battery. All right, got the 
ground on. We're about to prepare the custom cable that's going to go from the bus bar to one of the Power Pro batteries that are going to go on the patio and our expansion of battery banks. And now I'm scavenging this cable from my setup that I did uh, about a year and a half, two years ago. But um, two out cable, double two out run, just like what I need. I think it's long enough to make the run. So I'm going to leave it as long as I can. And on one end, we're going to have these Amphenol connectors or Degson's um, waterproof connectors, just the style of that on, on the battery already. So it can connect to the side of the battery. We have to have two positives as in two negatives. And the other end is going to have lugs on them to go to the bus bar. Now my positive is gonna to have to have a 200 amp fuse on each part of the run. So that's gonna be two of those. And I've got these, I've got one of them. I've got another one on the way, should be arriving tomorrow. That'll go for the positive coming from the battery. will go to one end of this. The other end will go from here to the main bus bar. And there we go. Exposed copper wire. I'm going to slide this one in here. It's a 2 watt. Okay, and then we loosen this up. And we're going to pull it out. And I like to do it twice, just to be for sure, for sure, before we put the heat shrink on it. All right, that should be good. And then we loosen it up and we pull it out. All right, let's get it in there good. Let's get it started a little. Let's see what we got. Right at the end here. Let's unscrew this, and then the wire is going to go into here. The last time I did it, I wound up doing a 4 aught, then a 2 aught for it to work. This would slip over here like that. So let's not forget to put that on first. Put the four out in. Our cable in. Now make sure this is in as far as it can go before we start crimping. Very careful to not unplug what you've already done. Pull out the other four. Put in the first two. Cable in there. Put the other end of the two in. Make sure our valve is closed. And then, and this, and check it out. We're good. And this comes up, got to get our roll of parts in, and we tighten, and there she goes. All right, so this is going to go to my negative terminals, it's going to go to my positive, but it's got to have the fused positives. Cut this right here. And we need to prepare our ends. I am dripping sweat. The batteries are at the same voltage at the moment. So I need to take advantage of that. Are they close enough, should I say? I gotta change my battery IDs on my rack mounts because I wanna have all of the Power Pros as the first batteries followed by the rack batteries. So we've got the Amphenol connectors on that end that's gonna go to the batteries. 
and then we've got these ends, negative and positive, but I need to have a positive fused positive to, to these fuses. Get them both ready. Bingo. The negative to go on here. Got my negative on. Good. Get it back over here. Looks good. Should be good on this. Now we just got to get these bad boys on here. If we can get this damn cover back on, I'd be very impressed with myself. All right, so we've got our fused positives. We've got our negatives connected to the bus bar. Now we need to connect to the battery, run a comm cable, make sure our dip switches are correct. We've grounded it. We've paralleled it here. This parallel cable here. Let's go ahead and do our positives. So now we need to connect our comm cable. Let's connect one here, battery comm. My LLV2s need to have different addresses because I made the Power Pros batteries four and five, which this was four and five. So now battery four needs to be battery six. And then battery five is gonna be battery seven. Three down, three up. Double checking everything, positive, positives, got those connected, batteries are paralleled, grounded, check the dip switches. So now we need to just power this guy up. So proper procedure would be, we're gonna open the battery breakers. So when we turn on the BMS, the pre-charge resistors in our batteries will do their job. We need to get all our breakers on, it's off, double checking. Breakers, 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 breaker, breaker one nine, breaker on, breaker on. There we go. BMS, batteries are clicking on. Heard the inverter click on. We have to do the BMS on these. Everybody's coming up. Turn our grid disconnect on. Turn on the PV, on the PV. So now I just need to let the wife know I'm about to switch power back to the system. So here we go from grid to solar. Power's gonna go out for a second. Ooh. Now we gotta just put on the load breaker. So we're putting our first full charge on all the batteries connected together, doing a quick charge. So we're finishing that top balancing that we started by charging these babies up with the charge verter. These were saying 100% before we connected them with the other batteries. But to avoid current rush, match the voltages pretty close. And we connected them together, but the system was saying it was at 80%. So once I had them all together, we it came to about 87%, 86%. So now we're using a quick charge to charge them all the way up to 100% all the batteries together for the first time. We call that top balancing, get everybody to 100% and let them stay there for a little while. Master's at 99. Okay, the kids are getting close to that 100%. That one's at 100, 100. The voltages are in the 55.8, 55.5, 56 is what I'd like to see. We're close to 56 now. Let's see if that quick charge can get it all the way up to that 56. I need to redo my labels too. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed our video.